Hey everyone, Vince here. Welcome to my web browser, Safe and Secure Review. Alrighty, today we have a web browser that's promising real money for us to use it and search on it. So on today's video, I'm gonna give it a try and let you guys know my thoughts. Hope you enjoy, hit like if you did for more. Let's kick this off. By the way, everyone, this is technically called Givy Browser. And you can see an advertisement just appeared as I'm talking. Get used to that because you're going to be dealing with this a lot when you're using Givy Browser. Not the best kind of system when they're putting these intrusive ads in every single like 30 seconds. Either way, thanks to me watching that advertisement, apparently I've just won 2,307 of the coins. And straight away again, we have another prompt to watch more ads. So I'm not going to do that right now. Okay, so this is what Gibby Browser looks like when you first turn it on. You can see here, it's a pretty straightforward system. Kind of looks like your traditional web browser that you can get on your mobile phone. Except at the top of the screen, there's a minimum daily reward area. This is Gibby Browser's daily reward system. You can see here I have six cents worth of United States currency that I can earn today. And there's another advertisement. So again, I can't even talk without the ads bombarding us here. Every single one minute an advertisement is going to play automatically to get this daily reward. We now have another pop-up saying that there's big offers that we can complete here. I'll just quickly close that. And you'll notice here at the bottom of the screen it states I can collect another $1.30 United States currency in total. Alright, now how about the actual currency system itself? At the top of the screen you'll notice your account balance. I have 17,351 of the coins which converts into one cent United States currency. At the bottom of the screen you have various tabs available. Tapping on the the profile tab will take you to your account history and withdraw area. Apparently I've earned 44,000 of the coins in total. I've visited zero pages and blocked zero ads. I'll get into that ad blocking in a second by the way, but let me just show you the cash out options of Gibby Browser. So this is the cash out page and you can see here it's exactly like the other Gibby applications that are available in the market right now. One cent United States currency equals 10,000 of the coins. And scrolling down this list here, you'll notice that we have multiple cash out options available. We even have Gcash, Coinbase, Amazon, and PayPal. Again, no real difference compared to the other Gibby applications we've covered already on the market. So now going back to the home screen, let's say I want to search something up on here. And again, another pop-up. You'll notice this pop-up appearing every single like 30 seconds. It's very, very frustrating. Plus the coins you get for watching the advertisement is literally so low. You can either enter the web address in at the top of the screen there, or use one of these little shortcut buttons that you can see on the screen right now to either go to YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, Google, Google. So now I've just tapped on the Google button and it's allowed me to actually browse Google through the Kibi browser. And there's another advertisement again. So literally, I you can't even use it without ads just popping up constantly right now. Not the best start for a Gibby application, and I've noticed all the Gibby applications have this system now. At least the more recent ones that I've covered. But because I watched that advertisement, it states that I've won again, and I've earned 1,700 of the coins. Which is not even one cent, by the way. Very, very low start. So now I'm searching for cryptocurrency within the Gibby browser to see exactly how the website ad blocking works and how exactly we can actually generate revenue from searching pages. Let me go to coin market cap quickly. So now another advertisement appears, of course. Fantastic stuff. Now my account balance is 20,000 of the coins, which equals two cents United States currency. I still have another five and a half cents to go. So I'm easily gonna watch like another 10 or 20 advertisements now automatically without even them asking me. It's so annoying, dude. Either way, let's tap on Bitcoin here. So yeah, all things considered, it does seem like a normal browser that actually does work. That's pretty helpful at least, I guess. Yes, ultimately, at least it works. But again, another ad. I don't know how they think people are gonna enjoy this. So now going back to the home page of Gibby Browser, you'll notice that it states I've visited four pages and blocked 46 advertisements, supposedly. Apparently, if you make Gibby Browser your default browser, they'll give you a 30% increase, by the way. At the moment, I haven't really received any coins for browsing web pages, though. So let me just go browse a whole bunch more and let you know my experience. I'll be back in about five minutes, and I'm sure a whole bunch of ads are going to play knowing this application and there's another one right now, seriously. Okay, everyone, after using Gibby Browser for roughly 10 minutes, I'm now going to show you exactly what you can expect when you use it as well. Until you complete your daily rewards, you're going to constantly get ads that give you these coins. And remember, that countdown's always ticking down. So again, remember what I said, even if you don't want the ads, you're going to get ads either way. I've been browsing through some old video games just to get that nostalgia feel, right? And I noticed something. It does tell you when it's actually blocking advertisements. At the top of the 
screen underneath the URL bar, you're going to have a little shield with a tick. This is what will tell you when there's advertisements on the page and how many ads you've blocked in total. Now you notice that I have 35,000 of the coins, which equals three and a half cents. Well, everyone, that wasn't from browsing the pages. That was just from the automatic ad system they play on a daily basis. So it seems you don't actually get paid from browsing the pages, at least in my experience, you get paid from that daily reward system that ticks down every minute. You can see I've visited 27 pages. I've now earned 64,000 of the coins and I now have blocked 185 advertisements. Fun fact, if you head to YouTube, it actually is fully functional. And the thing is there is an ad blocker installed as well. So you can watch YouTube with no advertisements. Now, that's obviously damaging for creators like myself who need ads to actually continue doing YouTube videos. So not really happy about that one by any means, but yes, it does work. So yeah, a little bit disappointed though that they don't reward you for browsing pages. And there's another advertisement, obviously. At the bottom of the screen, you have your invite friends tab. Interestingly enough, Gibby has seemed to have actually upgraded their referral system. So this is actually not too bad now compared to what it was but it's still extremely low. When you refer someone to Gibby browser, you get 20% of their earnings for free and your friend gets a three cent starting bonus. You can also send gifts to each other now, apparently. So now this is actually a pretty interesting step by Gibby. They are really trying to increase their referral system. Maybe they saw the videos of me saying their referral systems are lowest on the market. Either way, if you guys want your free bonus, you can find it in the description below, all right? I'll leave my link there. Gibby allows you to refer them, which will generate you some passive income, which is pretty cool, I guess even though that's technically under one single cent. Now, how about the offers page? Again, Gibby has the lowest offers, in my opinion, on the market. So get ready to be quite disappointed. Let's check out CPX Research. So this is, again, the problem with Gibby. You have surveys available that are 16 minutes long that will only pay you 300,000 coins. Can you imagine completing a survey and only getting rewarded 30 cents for a 15 minute one as well? That is ridiculous. Sadly, the offer walls don't even actually work for me at the moment. This is what OfferToro brings up and AH Studio just loads a blank page. At least AdGem did load up, but the results are actually very sad in my opinion. There's a smash party offer here that's multi-rewarding by the way. That's literally paying you up to $6 dollars everyone that is extremely low for an offer like this you should easily be looking at like 20 or 30 dollars legitimately be careful with the offer walls on Gibby. that's all i'm gonna say they're very 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 low Alrighty. so now i've gone through every single feature on Gibby browser let me talk about my cash out experience with it so when you first launch Gibby Browser up, it will allow you to cash out two to three cents United States currency instantly after you watch three advertisements to kind of prove that they're a legitimate application straight off the bat. And I am happy to say everyone, yes, within about probably five to 10 minutes, I received that cryptocurrency to my Coinbase account. Now, does that mean Gibby Browser is for everyone? In my opinion, no, not at the moment. It just feels like you're watching ads over and over again. And then once you've watched your ads for the day, you're kind of limited to what you can do next. Developers need to make money by you guys watching ads, but there's a limit on how many ads I feel that you should be watching within a span of one minute. And with Gibby Browser, it just feels too much in my opinion right now. Please check out my YouTube channel for hundreds of other legitimate money-making reviews. Please hit like if you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.